So here's your summary video. <laughs> it's probably going to be like four seconds long. So, you know, we've learned what semantics are and why they're important, right? Creating content and structure on your page and making it have meaning. Uh, and we've learned uh, some of the different tags and elements we can use for that for creating different areas within our, our web page, such as um, header, footer, section, article, a site. And, uh, and we've also learned about div, uh, divs and spans, and, and how they can be used for creating different areas or targeting different content on the page. And we've learned about block versus inline and how some elements are block elements and they take up the whole line and some elements are inline elements and they just, you know, work with some of the stuff right in line. Um, so, you know, we bought, and that's right there. And we've also learned text-based elements best represent the content of the page, which text-based elements best represent the content of the page. So we looked at like, you know, bold, strong, emphasis, italicized. Um, headings, H1, H2, H3, H4, H5, H6. I don't know where all that went. Where are they? There's the structure. There are the headings. There we go. Text-based elements. Headings, paragraphs, and then bold italicized. Yeah, so we've seen those. And uh, we saw um, HTML5 structural elements and how they define the structure and organization of a page and how to use hyperlinks. And then we actually did some really cool coding with WebStorm. I don't know about you, I'm, I'm starting to feel like I'm a good programmer. <laughs> it's probably just the hour. I think we're doing all right, actually. I think I'm doing all right. So kudos to you, kudos to me. And, uh, you know, I think now is the point where you go listen to some song and, you know, pump yourself up. And I, I would recommend LL Cool J, Time for War. I don't know why. <laughs>